Now, since this series started, there's been a new version of the software, 2019. And in fact, 2020 is going to be due out soon-ish. It's already in beta testing. Okay, so layout 2018 is what I used to create uh, this series. And the reason for it was I wanted to retain compatibility. So I made a conscious decision to save everything as 2018. And I just wanted to point out some of the differences between the two. The main difference is on the startup screen. So if I double click layout 2018, we've got the familiar splash screen. And then we've got this thing that loads up. So this is the getting started. And the getting started is an option in the preferences. And I'll show you that in a second. But this is pointing at default templates. I'll just cancel out of this. So go edit and preferences. If you're on the Mac, then it's layout and then come down to preferences. And it's selected startup at the moment. That was the last thing that I touched. And we can see the startup option. So allow checking for updates. This thing uh, is turned on. So if you get that message that uh, you keep seeing saying there's latest versions to download, then you can just turn that off if you don't want to see those. Um, We've got create a new document as the startup default on this one. So don't open anything or reopen files from the last session, another option. And then new document, that's when we start the application up itself. We open the getting started option. We could just create a blank new document or we could decide to use a default template that we link to. OK, so those are our options. So I'm going to close that down and close this down. So if I open up layout 2019, then we get a different splash screen and this brand new looking welcome to layout screen, OK, which has different things on it. It doesn't have the two tabs. It's got layout there. It's got these files. So that's this thing. It's also got learn. So you can link to SketchUp videos, SketchUp campus, SketchUp forum. It's got information on your license and it's also got open file there. OK, these are the recent files that we've done. Uh, there are more templates to look at. And I can scroll down to between the draft paper ones and the plain paper ones. And I've also got storyboard and title block. So we've got the same sort of stuff uh, and anything else you decide to create. So when you create a new link to the template files, then that will appear up here somewhere, I'm guessing. But it'll certainly be uh, obvious as to where they are. And that is really the significant difference between the two. Now, if I close this down and go File New, then I don't get that document. I just get all of these things. OK, and that's it. So Edit and Preferences on this one is pretty much exactly the same. OK, we've got Folders, Presentation, Scale, Shortcuts. So nothing really different. Allow checking for updates, show the welcome window and Oh, this new document prompt for template. So it is slightly different. OK, that is a slightly different wording. So that's something I've just spotted. OK, so I'll close that down and close this down. And the final bit is just to point out the warning sign that you'll get if you open up a 2018 saved file version with the 2019 version. So again, it's going through its paces. And because I'm just loading up a file, it's not going to give me the welcome screen. It's just going to go straight into the folder. But it gives me this message first, which I can turn off, but I don't want to turn it off because it's a good reminder. So it's basically saying if you save it with the current 2019 version, then it may be partially incompatible or unable to load in a previous version of Layout. Now, I can guarantee you that it will not open in a previous version of Layout. So just be careful about that sort of stuff. If you are using different versions, what you can do is File, Save As, and just make sure you save as a, an earlier version. Okay, All sorts of different versions to play with. But certain things like in 2014, for example, or even 2016, the scrapbook uh, doesn't work. It all falls apart. So again, be super careful about um, how you save your work. And that's it. So that's a little run through as the main differences between the 2019 and the 2018 versions. As far as using the software goes, it's pretty much the same. OK, so we can now go and look at the architectural detail.